Hi guys, let me go ahead and show you how powerful the new processors are, the new CPUs that come out. Currently I have a Intel Core i5 and this is the new Ivy Bridge. It's the third generation, it's unlocked. Currently it's overclocked at 4.2 GHz, it's very easy to overclock it. It's automatic, you just press a button and it overclocks it for you, everybody can do it. It has a, a the motherboard is Asus. It came with a discount, it was like $75, the processor was $189 and um, it has a, the, the best thing about it is it, it has a SSD. So the SSD is a very very fast uh, hard drive or a solid state drive I would say. So that really makes a difference. So the total build up for my computer is less than $500, definitely less. Right now, I don't have a gaming card, a video card. There is no GPU in in my computer. I'm only using the Intel onboard HD 400, 4000 uh, graphics that come with the processors. There is no video card. Let me show you how good it performs in AutoCAD 2013. First of all, let's see how fast it starts. Uh, I haven't used AutoCAD in a few days. I just restarted my computer. So let's go in here and see how fast it loads. And there you go, this was pretty fast for AutoCAD, if you use AutoCAD you probably know how long it takes. And let's go ahead and try to use some larger files. Let's see over here, I got this um, three dimensional craft ship. Okay, it pretty much has a lot of detail, but as you can see there's no hesitation at all. This thing is really really fast. Let's probably the realistic view is the one that takes the most probably out of your CPU but look at it, there's no problem whatsoever, this thing is fast now let's go ahead and try to make it as difficult as possible for my CPU let's just make a lot of these and see what happens and again I'm not using a video card, this is just the power of my CPU i5 for less than 200 hours now let's go ahead and copy this whole thing and okay, this should now make it hard for my CPU alright, I can feel it a little bit it's getting a little slower still rotates perfectly fine okay this now it's lagging a little bit still definitely workable you can select parts select the seat as well and this is a very large file I'm guessing I don't know if you build houses or what kind of stuff you want to build on your AutoCAD but without a video card performing this well this is unbelievable it's only clocked at 4.2 gigahertz you can go higher and usually the stack speed was like 3.4 and I think it really makes a difference when you overclock it now it, I think it runs definitely better than before and you can see you can do whatever you want it's lagging a little bit it's definitely slightly slower but with one of these ships it doesn't feel a thing the temperature is 38 celsius this is unbelievable it will not get hot anytime soon whatever you do let's try to really really make it tough on this guy let's select as many as we can okay now it's definitely slowing down a little bit Yeah, right now you can definitely feel it. This is about the limit of your CPU. I only selected certain parts over here, that's why it's copied like that, because I didn't select the whole thing.
it's running it's it's not smooth right now but it's definitely not bad at all but this is like extreme extreme um, scenario usually what you have in our cat is two-dimensional drawing this thing is unbelievable this thing will not stop at anything unbelievably good unless you want to go extremely large houses and cars and whatnot this thing is not gonna it's gonna perform as well as there's no slowing it down you don't need to spend a lot of money to get good um, good performance out of your computer but again this is less than 500 hours and our cat is runs amazing and I I'm definitely sure the SSD has a lot a lot to do with it again okay I only have 8 gigabytes of RAM just to let you know again let's start it again it's amazingly fast and I definitely think it's worth the money. I know a lot of people spend a lot of money on do core processors over. They spend like two thousand hours on Intel Xeons, and I'm I'm not sure if you really need that. This thing is a basic processor, unbelievably fast. And I've I've done a lot of 3D projects. Let's open up some other ones. This is. Let's see what this is, it's not that small. Hmm. Not sure what this was. Let's open up something else that I know. Or better yet, let's just... This is a bicycle rim that I designed. <laughs> it's very basic. But this thing is unbelievable. Look at it. We can copy this all day. I don't think it's ever gonna slow. That spaceship was a very large file with a lot of details. This thing. Will not slow down. It stays under 40 Celsius. I do have a water cooler, but a very basic one. I spent like 60 dollars on it. Maybe some of the details are not as good because I don't have a video card. For example, you can see over here on the circle. It's not a perfect circle, you can see lines, kind of dashes, but it's pretty good detail actually, it's not that bad at all. Especially if you select, um, yeah, shaded view. It's very, very good, look at the tire. rotating in three dimensions it's pretty good performance I would say 